Welcome to my channel, Every Day I'm Mothering, and our next activity in our 31 Days of Halloween STEM series. So today we are making ghost mud. To make this, you will just need a bowl that's microwavable, some soap, and it needs to be ivory soap, and then some spoons, little buckets, things to play with. And I found these little skull buckets at the dollar store, and they were just perfect and spooky. Then some toilet paper. We used two rows for this some water, and then you'll want some kind of container to mix it with. And this one was actually a little high. Next time I would have one with shorter sides. Then the first step is to get all the toilet paper unrolled and the kids had an absolute blast just finding a fun way to basically toilet paper our yard to get it unrolled. Then you'll want to microwave your soap and it's important to use the ivory brand here because it has so much air in it it will actually foam up in the microwave i don't believe other brands will work the same way but it's so neat the way that it actually foams up and we did it for a minute and 30 seconds but not all of the soap actually expanded so i ended up getting two hard chunks at the end and putting them back in which you'll see so you might want to do it a little bit longer or like here, if you do see that hard stuff in the middle, just pull it out and microwave it again. But it's so neat how it puffs up and the girls were amazing. Cool. Yeah. 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 Gonna go over the bowl. Me too. Yeah. girls really had fun just playing with the soap and filling the texture and crumbling it up before we even added the water. They thought it was such a neat experience the way it felt on their skin. And then once we added the water, they got to mix it all together before you add it into the toilet paper. So it's very much a hands-on sensory activity. Yep. If you hold it right there, it's really hot, but if you just move it really fast, it feels very good. So we had to end up adding in quite a bit more water than the original instruction said and I have that linked below as well as a shopping list for this series. If you haven't seen that yet, you can find it in the description box below. But we added in probably another two cups of water and we really could have added probably a little bit more to make it even more mud-like and a little bit sloppier so it would form together a little bit easier. But you really have to get in there and knead it and really mush it and work it together to get it to be a good consistency that they can play with. Now it's more fun. It's more mushy. Caroline, is that all over you? Can you get hey, this Ryan, out? You <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect from this activity, but I never expected the girls to have so much fun. They played with this for a solid hour after we were finished, and they would have played even longer. Now, I will say you will definitely want to do this outside because it gets everywhere when they're slopping it around, and you do not want this to dry on your floor with the pieces of toilet paper. But other than that, it is such a fun activity. 
And please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and check out the rest of our 31 days of Halloween STEM activities. Bye everyone.